Ugh, this is heavy. My name's Kazu Watanabe. Just your average, nerdy, introverted high school dude you can find anywhere. Taking this on by myself was totally a mistake, even if the teacher asked me to. All right, just a little more to the preparation room. Whoa! Ow, ow, ow. Ouch. Man, I took a nasty fall. Hey, you okay? Huh? I heard a loud noise, so I got worried and came to check. You hurt yourself? N nah I'm okay. <sighs> well, that's a relief. Should I carry half of these notebooks for you? N nah it's fine. The preparation room is just right there, so... No need to hold back. Nah, I'll just take your kind offer in spirit, but thanks. Really? Well, then be careful, okay? He's so cool. He's truly the school's prince, isn't he? The guy who extended his hand to help me when I fell is Luca Saito. He's the most popular, charismatic, good-looking guy in the whole school. They say no girl can resist falling for him when he flashes that smile of his. Well, well, you got rescued by the school's prince, huh? Yeah, I was blown away by how smooth he was when he helped me. Seriously, he was like a freaking prince, Otaku! My name isn't Otaku, it's Otaku-da. But seriously, he's really something else, isn't he? The popular guy being kind to an introverted nerd like you, I thought that only happens in comics and cartoons. Yeah, I know, right? He's as rare as a badass girl who's kind to nerds. He's truly on a different level, huh? Even if someone said he came straight out of cartoon, I wouldn't find it weird. Or maybe he might have really come from the cartoon world. Nah, he's a legit real dude from this world. But I really get what Otakuda is trying to say. Luka is kind to everyone, not just girls, but also guys. It doesn't matter if they're introverts or extroverts, he treats them all the same. On top of that, he's top-notch in academics, a sports ace, flawless in every way. He's truly perfect, and the term prince suits him perfectly. Oh my god, prince! Luca, look over here! You're so cool today too! <laughs> Thanks! Oh my god! I can hear the loud cheers all the way here. He's still a heartthrob, huh? Well, I mean, think about it. When he smiles, everyone instantly falls in love. Man, who is he? The god of love? I'm sure even the gods would be surprised. As an introverted nerd like me, I don't usually interact with Luca. Just being in the same class doesn't mean we'll become friends. We only talk on occasions like today when he happened to rescue me by chance. I mean, most people would think that way, but... I'm back! Welcome back, Kazu! Whoa! Another exhausting day, huh? Wanna have dinner first? Or maybe take a bath? Or how about... me? Of course it's gotta be me! I know, I get it. Kazu, you're totally into me, right? Uh, Luca, hey, calm down. No worries, I'm into you too. Luca. What's up, what's the matter? You wanna get cozy with me? Sure thing. I'm up for anything with you, Kazu. Nah, it's not like that. First things first, can you step back a bit? Why, what's the deal? I need some personal space. I wanna change and stuff, you know? No way! I'm not moving! I don't want to be apart! I'm running low on Kazu today! It's not enough! What? That's not true. We talked at school today, didn't we? That kind of stuff doesn't count! So? Anyway, how about a kiss? Uh? I want to replenish myself with a good dose of Kazu right now! Hey, Luca, hold on a sec. When I kiss you, I can feel a lot of you, Kazu. Now, close your eyes. Don't worry, there's nothing scary. Why would it be like that? Love, maybe? 
not maybe. Just calm down. Jeez, you're so stingy, Kazu. Can't you listen to your fiancé? Just a little smooch. That's all it is. Those things are for after we get married. No! Stop complaining. Jeez. The handsome, popular school prince, Luca Saito, being here? Why? Well, the reason is that he, I mean, she, is my fiancé. Luca Saito is the heiress of the Tokisuku Corporation, one of the top domestic companies. Among the troubles that often arise in the Saito family, due to their social status, women are particularly vulnerable and prone to being targeted. That's why the Saito family has a certain custom. Until they come of age or get married, women disguise themselves as men and conceal their gender. By doing so, they lower the chances of getting involved in troubles, or so it seems. By the way, I'm the butler slash bodyguard who's been serving her family for generations, so I've been trained since I was a kid to protect Luca. We've been together since we were little, and she's my master who needs protection. Given my position, becoming her fiancé is totally out of the question. But something happened when we were kids. It happened when Luca and I were playing at the park. When the adults briefly took their eyes off us, a stray dog came too close. Woof, 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 woof. Get out of here! Kazu! Don't worry, I'll protect you! Bark, bark. I, I ain't scared or nothing. Woof, woof. Whoa. Kazu. I protected Luca from the stray dog and ended up with a three-month injury. Sorry for causing trouble by saving me. Don't sweat it. I'm totally fine. Thanks for saving me, Kazu. You're my prince, you know. Prince? I'm your bodyguard, remember? No! You're my prince! Really? Yeah! I like you so much, Kazu! Keep protecting me as my prince, okay? What? And because of this, I became her fiancé. Luca's dad accepted our relationship, saying it's better than giving her away to some random dude. And so, time went by. As we entered a high school far from home, we started living together at our parents' suggestion. They told us that it's a good idea to know each other before getting married. Because finding out about different values after marriage can be a pain in the ass. Hey, seriously, give me some space already. No way! I want to stay together like this forever! Like I said, I gotta change. Got it! But first, give me a kiss! No can do. Aww, Kazu! If you keep clinging like this, I won't sleep with you tonight. That's mean, not fair! You're so mean, Kazu! Why would you say something like that? You monster devil! I just said we won't sleep together, and you're going all out. Okay, okay, I get it. Just let me go, will ya? I'm not being cold, jeez. A few minutes later, what are you doing? I'm replenishing you by clinging. It's hard to read like this. Want me to read it out loud to you? You'll definitely be enchanted by my beautiful voice. I really don't need that. Why are you so resistant? I'm a silent reader, okay? Hey, finish reading already. Pay attention to me. Come on. Just a little more. How much longer? Three more pages. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Mm, all right, I'm done. You're so slow at reading. From now on, no reading when you're with me. Got it? Please spare me from that. But we can only cuddle at home, you know. At school, you're all distant and stuff. Let's get closer, will you? No way. If a nerd and a popular guy hang out together, we'll stand out, you know? You already attract a lot of attention, so why would you want even more? 
We don't know what might happen, so we gotta be careful. Yeah, maybe you're right, but... But meeting up at a different place before going home together is such a hassle, isn't it? It's better to be cautious. Uh. Oops, Luca, it's getting late. Let's go to bed. All right. Well, good night, kiss. Nope, not happening. You cheapskate. I think a kiss would help me sleep better, though. Nope, no can do. We can try at least once. Absolutely not. You're so stingy. Amidst all the liveliness and fun, this is the daily life of me and Luca. One day after school. Whoa, it's raining suddenly. Uh, of course it has to rain when I forget my foldable umbrella. Luca, let's hurry. For now, uh, let's run to that awning over there. Okay. Uh, we got soaked. Yeah, we're freaking soaked. The weather forecast said it would be sunny all day. The forecast has been wrong a lot lately. Oh, Luca, use this. You sure? I mean, your body's curves are showing. For real? Holy! But it's pretty far from our house. Luca, I'm sorry, but... <sighs> what are you doing all of a sudden? Can't afford anyone catching us like this. So I'll just hold you like this. This way, your body can stay hidden, I guess. Seriously? But this is super embarrassing. You're all about intense physical contact normally, though. It's different when I'm doing it. So I can't do it? Well, uh, it makes me shy. <laughs> Cute. Uh, whatever. All right, shut your mouth. Hold on tight. We're going to run, so it's going to shake. Seriously, that's so typical of you. What do you mean? Forget it. <sighs> the next day. I'll be waiting at the usual place, all right? Hey, Kazu. Huh? What's up? Just now, the teacher was calling for you, man. What? For real? Seemed like it was urgent, so you should hurry. Yeah, thanks. Sorry, got called by the teacher. I'll be a bit late. Huh? Wait, who was that just now? I don't think I've seen him before. Anyway, gotta go. Ten minutes later. The teacher didn't call me after all. Yo, where's Luca? Could it be that someone saw us doing that yesterday? Yo, what's up? Why are you so freaked out? Uh, well, I, uh, I'm looking for Luca. If it's Luca, I just passed by her. I was at the bookstore, but then she zoomed past. Thanks for letting me know, Otaku. It's not Otaku, it's Otaku Da. You ain't got nowhere to run, man. Just stay quiet. No, Kazu, help me. Hold it right there, you bastards. Where the you come from? When it comes to saving my fiance, I can even run on rooftops, you know? That's way faster because there ain't no traffic lights. This is freaking insane. The power of love ain't bound by common sense, man. Luca, did they do anything to you? N no, I'm okay. How dare those guys put my precious Luca in a scary situation like this? H hey, you! You're the one who lied to me earlier. Were you in on it too? Just shut up. Just get lost. You're in our way. Get lost, huh? Ow, ow, ow! W what's with this guy? Man, he's strong. Ow, God, it hurts. Listen up, you scumbags. Love beats evil, hands down. Phew, that takes care of that. Wasn't that big of a deal. Kazu! Luca! I was scared. I was so scared. I'm really sorry for putting you in danger. It's okay. I believed in you. I knew you would come and save me. Luca. You were so cool. You're my one and only prince, Kazu. Will you keep protecting me forever? Of course, because you're my precious person. Yay! Thank you for saving me, Kazu. I love you so much, my prince. 
I love you too. The sudden crisis we face came to a safe conclusion. The guys I took care of were promptly handed over to the police and they're receiving the appropriate treatment they deserve. Luca continues to cross-dress as usual, but that alone doesn't guarantee her safety. We really understood that through this incident. So, to avoid danger, we've been sticking together ever since then. I was initially worried about standing out too much, but it only fueled my popularity as the prince who's kind to everyone, truly worthy of the title. Now we can openly show our love at school. Look, we can even do stuff like this. Hey, wait, that's a bit... Oh, come on, it's just showing how close we are. Uh... Well, anyway, come on, let's go home to our place. All right, all right. When we get home, let's have lots of kisses. Okay, darling? No can do. Aww. She's a handsome girl, but he's so adorable in front of me. Perhaps being caught up in everyday life with her isn't such a bad thing. Channel. I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos too!